back to another video. So, I have been getting a lot of comments recently that go as followed. Hannah, please, I need more glitch-related videos in my life. Please make that dream come true. So, that's what I'm doing today. We are going to talk about paranormal supernatural TV shows. Woohoo! No, but if you guys don't know what Glitch is, Glitch is a, like I said, supernatural paranormal drama romance show that stars Emma Booth. If you guys do not know who Emma Booth is, I'm just going to give you two seconds to, like, figure it out. One, two. Have you figured it out yet? No? Okay, let me, let me, um, it's Once Upon a Time, and, um, if you hadn't figured that out yet, you must have not, you must, you must be new to my channel, so let me introduce myself. Hi, my name's Hannah, the Once Upon a Time, like, obsessed fangirl, I'm, like, I'm so glad you're here, but, like, I talk about Once Upon a Time a lot, so, like, if you like that stuff, great. If you don't, oh well, I'm still going to make it anyway. So, Glitch. If for some reason you are unaware who Emma Booth is, I'm just going to clear that up. Emma Booth plays Mother Gothel in Season 7 of Once Upon a Time. If for some reason you don't know that, where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? So, Glitch. It's a very interesting show, to say the least. It, like I said, it is paranormal and supernatural, romance and drama. That's what I consider it to be. It might have a set category, but that's what I just consider it to be. So, Emma plays one of the main characters in the show, along with a very, very talented group of people. Um, and the entire cast is just amazing. Um, the premise of Glitch Season 1 is that, or the, did I just say, anyway, the plot of Glitch Season 1 is that a bunch of people come back from the dead. Literally, they crawl out of their graves. So, um, if you're like five, you, you, may, you might just want to, like, just not watch it. Um, they crawl out of their graves. So basically, they don't remember who they are, they don't remember why they died, they don't remember anything. They just think they've been living normal lives, but then, but no, they, they've been dead for like hundreds of years. So, yeah. Emma plays one of the main characters, as I've said, like 30,000 times. I'm sorry, I'm going to be talking about Emma a lot in this video, so if for some reason you are not a fan of Emma's acting, then, well, first of all, you can just go. Second of all, um, if I see one rude comment about Emma in the comment section, expect a response and expect a very long paragraph because that is going to make me upset. So, Emma is one of the characters that came back from the dead. I need to stop saying that, but, like, I have to explain everything and be careful of how I explain it because some of this show can be triggering to some people, so... I have to be careful how I explain it because I found out that there are five-year-olds watching my video, so I have to be extremely careful. So, Emma um, died of cancer two years before... No, Emma died... Emma's character, Hannah... Wow, good job! Emma's character, Kate, died of cancer two years before the show is set. So, basically, um, Emma has been... Kate, I need to stop saying Emma. Emma's character, Kate, has been dead for two years. And then all this paranormal coming back from the dead happens, all that kind of stuff. And she is, like I said, one of six characters. The six characters are obviously Kate Willis, played by Emma Booth, um, Charlie Thompson, played by Sean Keen, Kirstie Darum, played by Hannah, Mo Hannah Mont. If I said that name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not the best at pronouncing names, so please don't, like, yeah. And then we have Patty, played by some, I can't remember his name. And then we have, as of actually said, then we have William, played by someone who I can't remember their name is. Again, I'm sorry, I'm really bad for, like, people's names. I'm sorry. Um, 
And then we have one more as well, but she's not really a main character, so I'm not going to focus on it as much. So basically, as I said, they don't remember why they're there. They don't remember. They just think they've been living normal lives and yada yada yada. They, but no, they've been dead for hundreds of years for some of them. So, we open... And it's the day that they all come back from the dead. And there is this young boy there in the cemetery. I guess he's like, he's trying to visit his father's grave. And, but apparently, like, anyway, you guys just have to watch the show. Because I have to be careful how I talk about this. Because there's young kids watching my shows. Watching my videos, I mean. So, he witnesses all this, like coming back from the dead, and they just think, like, it's some kind of, like, he calls the police, and they just think it's some kind of ritual. Now, on the police, on the police force, we have Kate Willis, played by Emma Booth. We have her husband, James. So, James Willis is a police officer. He is the one, um, who, coincidentally, is called when this happens, but then again, in the cemetery, he doesn't see Kate at first because she is rescued by a doctor named Alicia McKellar, who is also on the case. There's a very interesting plot twist about Alicia. So, by the way, I should say this. If you haven't seen Glitches in One, probably don't watch this video. I highly recommend that you don't because I'm going to spoil everything. Also, make sure you stick to the end of the video because, yeah. We're talking about Glitch, why would you not? So, she, Emma, or Kate, I need to stop saying Emma. If I say Emma, just know that I'm talking about Kate, okay? So Kate is saved or found by the doctor who is on the case. As I said, her name's Alicia McKellar. So Kate and James don't meet in the cemetery. They actually meet when they are brought back to the hospital. Um, or the, they're, it's actually a mental hospital, um, the mental institution of Urano, which is the made-up town that Glitch is set in. So, they bring them all back to the hospital, the doctor, like, checks them all out because they don't know why they're, like, are they dead, like, why were they in the graveyard, and why are they covered in mud and dirt, and why are the graves, why were they not disturbed, why were they dug from the outside, like, I mean, dug from the inside, that's not normal. Like, if someone was, like, to dig up a body, you would have to use, like, a shovel, so it'd be, like, dug out from the outside. But no, these graves that were disturbed were, like, dug out from the inside. It was, it's really creepy, so if you're, like, five, don't watch the show. Um, so after they check all the blood pressure and all that, um, the, then, then enters James, and this is my favorite scene in the entire show, mainly because it, it's Emma Booth and Kate Willis, and Patrick Rimmerall, and James Willis. So, she's, the doctor's just after taking Emma's blood pressure, right? And then enters James, and he's like, he just had a normal conversation with um, the doctor, and he doesn't reckon, he doesn't notice Emma or Kate right away. Um, and then, happiness. So, Kate is playing with like her wedding ring that says, Kate, K Kate W on it, so that's how she remembers her name. Like I said, they don't remember anything. They don't remember anything. Like half of them don't even remember their name till like episode three. So that's when she like says like remembers her name and like remembers that she's married, obviously, because it's, like, it's a wedding ring. And then James is having a normal conversation with the doctor. Like, why is this stuff happening? Like, who are they? Like, what is going on in this town? Should we like warn everybody? Is this like normal this is not normal what in the world is happening like do something we have to keep this a secret or the people are going to think that the police are doing nothing because at first they just think that it's like normal teenagers like destroying city property as t t some teenagers would um but no it's obviously way more than that so basically i need to stop explaining this scene in detail so Emma is, or Kate, I need to stop saying Emma, please, Henry, you need to stop. Okay, so Kate is just there, standing in the mirror, like, looking at, looking in the mirror. And then enters James, and he's, like, having a normal conversation, like, what is happening here? Like, as you normally would, if you notice something, like, witness something like this. And then Kate turns around, and then James is like, hold up, hold up. Who are you? Why do you look exactly like my wife that died two years ago? And then he's like... Who are you? 
and she's like, I'm Kate, and James is like, no, no, that's impossible, because Kate was my wife, and she died two years ago. And then Kate's response is, I'm Kate Willis, and he's like, no, no, you're not, stop lying, you're playing with my feelings here. And then he pulls out a picture from his wallet and shows it to the doctor, and he's like, that's Kate, that's my wife, she died two years ago. <laughs> like, what is this? And then the doctor's like, that does look like her. And then Kate's like, let me see. So he, like, hands her the picture. And um, she's like, you took this. And that's when she experiences her first glitch, hence the name Glitch. Um, all these characters will experience glitches. And they will then that's how they remember what happened before they died. They remember, like, their past life, what happened, and stuff like that, um, but in the form of glitches. Like, something that happens in the world, like, around them will trigger a memory, and how you know it happens is, like, high pitch, um, like, music starts playing from, like, in the episode, and that's how you know it's a glitch. So, she has a first glitch, so obviously she remembers James in this glitch. She remembers that she's married, and that they were like together and married. Together and married are the same thing, Hannah. I'm sorry, I'm Hannah. Have you met me? I explain things in extreme detail when it comes to TV shows. So, if that's something you enjoy, give it no. Give this video a thumbs up. No, but seriously, you really should. Uh, so I'm gonna stop talking about James and Kate for a second because I have think I, I think I've exhausted the characters and you probably you guys probably already have clicked off. By the way, if you haven't, thanks a lot. Um, so next we have Kirstie um, Kirsty Darab and Charlie Thompson. Now I can't really explain how they died because it can be triggering to some people. And like I said, there is five-year-olds and six-year-olds watching these videos I found out yesterday. So if you want to know more about how they died, um, feel free to message me on Instagram or YouTube and I will love to explain it to you guys. But basically, Charlie is an ex-World War One soldier and Kirsty is just a normal teenager. And I, I'm not really going to say anything more than that because if I say anything, it could be triggering and I don't, I don't want that to happen. So, the next we have Patty, and he is actually, um, he has, he's the one that's been dead for like 100 years, or 150 years, and he was actually the mayor of Urana, like the first mayor of Urana. So, he is a pretty big deal in season one, actually. He makes friends, actually, or it turns out to be family, but I'll get to that later, um, he makes friends with the boy that found them in the cemetery. By the way, the, the boy's name is Bo, and they like, they like hit it off and like, um, like they're friends and like, I don't know why, but they are. Um, and th I'm just gonna explain how they are family because it's gonna be, ex it, it's gonna be hard to explain if I don't do it now. So basically, um. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to explain it because if I get it wrong, then I'm going to feel really bad. So I'm just not. So anyway, the entire premise of season one of Glitch is like figuring out why these people are back from the dead, why it's these certain people and not everyone in the graveyard, and a huge spoiler alert. So if you haven't watched the like Glitch season one suggest you click off this video because I don't want to spoil like the big ending for you guys. So basically, um, the reason that it's these six or seven people compared to like everyone in the graveyard is because these people, um, ever, like, okay, think, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna have to explain it. So James, on the night that it was happening, like they all came back from the dead, James was thinking about Kate. And then someone else was thinking about Charlie. And someone else was thinking about Kirsty, and someone else was thinking about Patty, and stuff like that. So everyone that came back from the dead, they had someone in the world thinking about them at that time, which made the um, and the reason they came back from the dead is actually this like cell regeneration pesticide that was like put in the water sprinkler of the cemetery by accident. I know it's it's very complicated. Don't ask. So. 
yeah. I think season one of Glitch was amazing. I'm gonna do a Glitch season two um, recap and review, but just know that I can't get into all the details, as I said, because there are young kids and watching my videos, and I, I don't want to um, talk about certain things that happen in the show because it, it's not kid appropriate, and I hope you guys can understand. So, like I said, if you do want to talk more about Glitch, you can feel free to message me on Instagram or YouTube. I'll have my Instagram name at the end card of this video. Also, the shout out of the day goes to Ella Jade. So, she's actually um, Ella Gardner on Instagram, and she's like the biggest Glitch fan, I mean, b besides me, that I have ever met. So, if you ask me a Glitch related question, and I don't know it, then I'm just gonna, you can just go ask Ella, like she's amazing. Um, so yeah, if you guys want a shout out, all you gotta do is go down there, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, say that you subscribed, and turn on my YouTube post notifications, and you may get a shout out in tomorrow's video. Alright guys, I love you, stay awesome.